Hello everybody, it's me, Bo Chevasu. If you're confused how to actually get this tape recorded onto your computer, we're gonna be using a Mac today, and we're not gonna be using Audacity. It takes a little bit longer to do that. If you're having some issues and some errors that Audacity is giving you, that's the reason why we are completely avoiding Audacity. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step what is working for me. Hopefully you can replicate these steps and they work for you. Now, first of all, make sure that you do have a tape in here. It is charged or rather there's batteries in this tape player. Let's go ahead and close it. By the way, if you want to open it, there's this little slider switch on the side that my dad just told me how to open that up. And if you're wondering, now we have the included cable. This is USB-C and it's going all the way in, plugged into our Max USB. Okay, easy enough. Also, if you want to listen to the playback, you can have these headphones right here and those are plugged into the headphone jack. All right, so right now we're just gonna play this just to get some audio going through this cable. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click play, right? So you can see that it's playing because those little wheels are turning in there, right? Now, let's go ahead, and this is gonna be the most work. So you're gonna go ahead, and uh, if you have this little audio thing right up there, you click on that. If you don't have that, that's okay. Just go and search right there and we're going to not search for QuickTime, but we're gonna search for sound, S-U-N-D, and then we're, you're gonna click on this option right here. Okay, easy enough. So it's gonna open up. Right now, it's internal microphone. So as you can see, it is recording the microphone, the internal microphone. It's recording my voice. We don't want that. You want to select this. That is this device right here and it is sending that signal into the computer. As a matter of fact, right when we selected that, you can now see that it is getting a signal. See that the this bouncing? That is the sermon being played on this tape. All right, so now that we are good to go, we are all set up there, you can actually close this if you'd like. And now we're going to open up Quick, quick Time. So Quick Time, uh, same idea. We went up to the little, little magnifying lens, and now we're gonna click on uh, Q U I C. Okay, there's that quick time player. Hit enter to open up. And it, you may be like, it didn't open up. Well, it did. It's this little guy right down here. Right click that, and you're going to click on new audio recording. So now you can see that if we were to go over, you can actually uh, kind of put this in the middle so you can see it better. If we do the drop down, look at that. It's still on our device, the USB device. So this audio bouncing around right there, that is the audio going into your computer from this cassette tape player. Cool, huh? So now all you need to do, I dropped this down and clicked on maximum so that we could have maximum audio quality. And all you need to do is click record. And so, it is recording right now. If you want to know what is being played, because obviously we're kind of flying blind, you, you can't tell what it's recording. Uh, again, you can just listen using these headphones right there. But right now we're just guessing to see if it's recording. So let's say that you recorded an entire song or, or you, you just recorded an entire tape, right? Go ahead and click stop. And if you want to actually make this bigger, you can because now you can actually see more of the timeline. So you can see that we recorded 25 seconds. Let's go ahead and play this. Joseph, Mary and Joseph fooling around and got caught. <laughs> so that's a fantastic sermon from Chuck Smith, I believe. Awesome, awesome pastor. And uh, this is an original sermon that is found nowhere online. So this is really cool that we are able to capture this sermon from videotape and put it onto our computer in a digitized format so you can text this sermon to people or anything like that. So you may be like, okay, well, what if I, I wanted to trim a little bit from the beginning and a little bit from the end? Here's what you do. You go up to edit and then down to trim. And now we can see the whole sermon. So you can play this through to make like that and you can trim the beginning. Let's say we only wanted this part and you can trim the end. Let's say we wanted this part. Click trim and now 
Once we have our trim section, and you can see instead of 25 seconds, now it's only 16 seconds in length. Let's go ahead and export this. Go up to file, down to export, down to audio only, like that. And this is just an example. We're just going to do test, T-E-S-T, -E and we're going to save it to our desktop. So right when we click save, theoretically, it should show up right there on our desktop. Click save and it export it and look at that. It is right there. Cool, huh? So now all you have to do in order to listen to this sample is highlight it, click the space bar. Bad to make up the story. And there is our... Or Mary was fooling around with some other young man there in Nazareth. <laughs> And there we go. If you want to text this to someone, you can right click this and click share. And now you can send it via messages. You can email this file. You can airdrop it to your iPhone. You can do all sorts of cool things with this right there. And that is how you get audio from your tape onto your computer in a digitized format.